What's up guys, it's your boys Wolke back with another preview for pre-order and today we're going to take a look at Yu-Gi-Oh's YouTubes or YouTubes as they call it. Um, three different figures that you guys can get your hands on right now um, and pre-order. So with that being said, we're going to take a look at these but shortly before we go any further, make sure you guys are subscribed by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bar icon uh, at the bottom right so when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that Zawuki myself has posted that video. And you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for that continued love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to keep growing together. And then with that being said, let's get into today's video to take a look at these YouTubes uh, that you guys can get your hands on right now. So, let's take a look. So starting off the bat, I'm using the website Big Bad Toy Store. This website and this company is fantastic. I'm not being sponsored by any way. I'm just giving my honest opinion from what I've had uh, the experience of in the past. Um, they have never gone wrong for me. So I definitely value them as a uh, provider for all things nerdy when it comes to Transformers, DC Comics, Marvel, Star Wars, and more. And with that being said, let's take a look at the bottom. So starting off the bat, we're going to be taking a look at Exodia, technically the forbidden one that... that character that you needed all five cards to summon this monster this one will be coming out this october of 2024 it is a pre-order so you're definitely not gonna be able to get it right away but you can lock it in right now and get your hands on this for 30 dollars uh, or 29.99 as you will there is a possibility of using sizzle if you guys cannot afford the whole 30 right off the bat or if you guys want to buy all three of them you guys can start off by just doing 750 for four interest-free payments but looking at it right here, you guys can see the brand is obviously Yu-Gi-Oh! from U2s. Um, again, this character looks very detailed from being a U2s. Um, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but this um, version looks fantastic. They did state that there is a Necrochasm version, where it's a darker version of this figure. I wasn't able to find it exactly, but I'll definitely let you know when it becomes available and announces itself um, for that Necrochasm dark version of the Exodia, the Forbidden One. Again, I'm going to be getting all these myself because they look fantastic. And I've seen uh, Seto Kaiba, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Yugi, and Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl already. And I'll be getting my hands on these ones. So, But inside box, you guys can see on all different angles. Well, first, before we see it in box, it looks fantastic. These figures are a little bit smaller than what you guys might think. Um, if you guys have never collected U2s before. Um, it's a vinyl figure, number 9. Um, these ones are about five inches tall. Um, when I first saw these, I thought these were a lot bigger, but I wanted to make that very a point um, to you guys that they are only about five inches. I thought they would be at least like 10 to uh, 12 inches tall. But again, you can't go wrong with these little figures and the boxes that they come in as well. Made of vinyl based on the Yu-Gi-Oh brand and so forth. The Exodia figure comes in this one. Um, the next one we're going to be taking a look at is going to be Blue Eyes, or Red Eyes, actually they keep changing it, it is going to be Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is Joey Wheeler's favorite card and monster that he has in his deck. This one is going to be coming out at the same time for same amount and so forth. But this one obviously has the Red Eyes Black Dragon version of its look. Um, I definitely love the way it looks. I'm glad that it doesn't come with a base on the bottom um, like the Exodia one because it just kind of, I, I just think sometimes the bases are not needed. And this figure definitely looks fantastic. And also in its red box number 10. Again, this one is going to be around four to four inches or four and a half inches tall. Not completely the size of Exodia um, because Exodia is obviously a lot bigger. But again, you guys can see this one um, for you guys' collection to add as well for those U2s. Now, if we take a look at the last one, which is going to be Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You guys can see right here for uh, the same time it's going to be released at $30 as well. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, again, one of my favorite monsters, but is going to be Seto Kaiba's um, pretty much at the moment of Kingdom or Duelist Kingdom, not Battle City when the Egyptian Gods started coming out. I hope they start doing the Egyptian God versions of these, um, but not quite yet. This is going to be his strongest monster in Duelist Kingdom. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon in its bluish box. This one's probably going to be, yep, about taller than... Um, Exodia the Forbidden one and I definitely am going to get my hands on every single one of these at $30 that's not too bad you're looking at 30 or $90 including tax and shipping costs as well 
if you are just starting to get into the U2's uh, scene and you want to start collecting all these different figures when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys can get your hands on the white or blue eyes white dragon version, um, which you guys can see right here. This is the the first version of the blue eyes ultimate dragon. This is going to be your number two. I'm just showing you guys for those that want to start collecting these and get your hands on them right now. You can get your hands on blue eyes white dragon right now. You can get your hands on Dark Magician, which is the one that I have myself right now. This is the only one that I have currently at this moment, but I definitely want to start getting into these because these characters are so cute to put on your guys' shelves and also are very detailed and have a fantastic color. They do have Yugi uh, or Yami Yugi, I should I should say. And then looking in his box, you guys can see it in yellow ver or yellowish box. They do have also Seto Kaiba in his Duelist uh, or Battle, Battle City version um, with the dual disc. I love these dual discs and I love this way that this uh, uh, Seto Kaiba looks. He is number one. And that's it for Yu-Gi-Oh! But right now they have a whole bunch of different versions when it comes to um, different genres, different characters. Um, they also have YouTubers that have these as well. Um, but each and every single character is definitely very good in its color, its uh, details when it comes to being accurate to their TV show, their movies, and so forth like that. So if you guys look, I'll post the links in the description for you guys to take a look at. I mean, they have Homelander, they have uh, SpongeBob, they have Marvel, they have uh, horror ones. I've seen Ghostface, they have um, Five Nights at Freddy, uh, again, they have The Boys, um, they have Avatar, Popeye, um, uh the Fairly Odd Parents, I've seen them having uh, Chainsaw Man. I mean, the sky's the limit pretty much when it comes to U2s. This is not the only website that you have to go through when it comes to getting U2s. I mean, they got Poppy Playtime. I've seen them having them all over the, the internet. But right now, this is where the, the website that I use to buy these. They have Vecna from Stranger Things, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So again, U2s are definitely fun to start to, to collect if you guys are interested. Links are in the description for Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'll also post a link in the description for actual U2s where you guys can start collecting those as well. Because um, why not? Yeah, what else do you have to do besides collect fun toys and so forth like that? Um, hopefully this video, guys, um, helped you guys out in finding these uh, characters out and starting into YouTubes or U2s. Sorry, um, I probably shouldn't have gotten into it because it's something else that I need to have in my collection. So comment down below if you guys are going to be getting any of these. If you guys have collected any other ones in the, in the past, let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next one. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.